Hi ladies, so this is basically, I'm going to give you a sample of what I'm calling the tutored vid, uh, which there will be one for every lecture, and it's really just a case of talking about something that's interesting, but maybe, you know, not crucial to one's studies, but it's a bit of fun, and they won't they'll only be three to four minutes long. So let me give you a sort of a sample. And I'm going to do this on the, um, the double slit. So um, everybody's fascinated with the double slit because when we try to measure the electron or the photon, whichever one we're using, it collapses. And that's the whole thing, the observer effect. It's amazing. Just by observing it in the double slit, we change the pattern at the back from an interference pattern to a clump. That's when we have a high-speed camera on the slit. And that's what everybody focuses on, and that's fair enough because it is really interesting. But I want to talk about just something else that's really interesting. Now, here we have the double slit, so we've got the source, we've got the two slits, and we've got the detector at the back. Now, if I block the bottom slit, so I've only got one slit open, so you can imagine being in front of that slit with a machine gun and you're firing and firing at the backboard. If we took a probability curve of the frequency with where each spot on the back detector was hit, we would see the pattern on the right. That is like the one hump. And that's because most of the bullets, again, imagine a machine gun, most of the bullets will be directly ahead with slightly less on an angle. So this pattern on the right shows the probability at each point on the detector screen how likely it is that the uh, bullet will land there and that's with one slit open if you look at the screen directly underneath the word bullets you can see what would happen if i first of all block the double uh, slit two the bottom slit like i did in the last um slide and and then we have the top hump and then if i block the top slit, we would have the bottom hump. And what we'd expect to see if we had both slits open would be the figure on the right. Uh, so that's two machine guns go, well, one machine gun going, doesn't really matter, at two slits. And that's the frequency, the probability curve we would achieve. But what do we actually see when we send electrons through and, and L protons? And that's the image on the far right, the actual interference pattern. And the interference pattern we would expect to come from a wave. So that's why when the uh, experiment was originally done, it was assumed light was a wave. But now we know it's a particle as well. So why is that pattern on the right, the interference pattern come up? And more importantly, and this is the little point, a little tip that I'm saying, if we look at the probability at a certain point, so let's look at the probability at the point of where the arrow is, which is in a trough in the interference pattern. And we're saying, it's not very likely that the uh, that point in the detector screen is going to get many hits. But if we look at what would happen when we block off the bottom slit, we can see that the probability is pretty high. So this is the whole point. Here's the tip. Here's the insight that many people don't realize. If we close the bottom slit and we've just got the top one open and if we look at that point on the uh, slide 
where the arrow is, we can see that if we block the bottom slit, there's a quite a high probability that it's going to land there. But if we have both slits open, like here, we see that there's a, there's a very low chance that there's go, you know, it's going to hit the back detector at this point. That is like saying, if I, if the, I am shooting a machine gun at a door, open door, and somebody else is shooting a machine gun at an open door a mile away, somehow, for certain areas, I have less chance of hitting that part of the back screen if the other door is open that is a mile away. That's the little tip. So, thank you very much from community and best of luck with the next lecture. Thank you.